Hey guys, my name is Arnav. This is Technovision, and today I am looking at Asus Zenfone 2 Laser. Hey, wait, where are you going? This is not Asus Zenfone 2 Laser review. This is what are you looking for? This CM13 review, running on Android Marshmallow on the top of Asus Zenfone 2 Laser. So let's wrap this up. So this is Asus Zenfone 2 Laser running on Cyanogen Mod 13. I don't want to take up your full hour on the Cyanogen Mod 13 review. So let's wrap this up quickly. So what kind of feature this uh, Cyanogen Mod ROM have? So first of all, you Cyanogen Mod means lots of customizability. So I just want to show you just going to the settings option. And there is a lots of customizability, lots of new settings over here. You can see there like buttons, gestures or other settings that won't available on the stock one. So let's talk about first uh, for the display. So here is the uh, menu options new uh, available here. You have the live display rotation option double tap to wake as also available on the previous ROM but double tap to sleep is not available. So this uh, there is also prevent uh, accidental wake up option. It means that if your phone is on pocket it won't light up during any uh, wrong press or anything else. So that's pretty cool. So uh, just uh, you can double tap this phone to wake up and double tap on the status bar to make it sleep so that's pretty cool thing you don't have to uh, press the power button which is uh, available on the wrong uh, side of this phone so that's pretty a cool thing so here is the display option here is another option ambient display another thing which is not available stock one so let's talk about another thing which is right below the display theme this phone is run on Cyanogen Mod 13 which is very customizable ROM and one of the most popular custom ROM. So I have already installed Android in, in themes. You can also install other themes. As you can see I have installed everything this phone has to from status bar to icons. I have changed everything else. So that's a pretty cool thing. You can easily change your boot animation, theme and other thing from just a single tab. So the next up is uh, lock screen. So as you know this phone don't have any fingerprint or anything else but um, some options are available swipe pattern pin password as also available on the stock one but here is the pattern uh, ratio you can select yourself 3 into 3 more traditional or 6 into 6 more crazy so whatever you want you can get so that's a good thing so next up we are we are going to talk about the buttons so buttons is a new thing over here uh, buttons means not the capacity one the custom one as you can see I have installed I have enabled this feature from the on screen navigation button so you can easily enable it from the single tap and left hand mode show arrow keys while typing and other options also available this is pretty usable thing I have also enabled show arrow keys while typing it's pretty good to have and you can also end curl via any button power button or anything else you, if you are using not the navigation button using stock one you can also customize stock one as your requirements so that's a pretty cool option to have so the next thing is gestures you have a pretty big amount of gestures draw c to activate camera draw e to email messaging app and other things dialer seems to be v right so it's work pretty good i am going to demonstrate you flashlight um, draw z to toggle flashlight first of all you have to lock it down then toggle z let me see whether it works or not no it doesn't working right now i think i am uh, not doing this rightly so make sure to have that so anyway it's better to have nothing than option so i'm just going to try another one uh, i want to draw v for dialer let me check if it works or not so just as v so it works no the gestures are not working on this phone so the options are pretty good however the work of the options is not as good but double tap is working pretty well so that's a cool thing so the next up battery i don't want to talk more about battery as the we know the zenfone 2 laser battery is pretty good on the 720p display version but when you comes to Cyanogen 1 battery goes down but it's not that ridiculous but it uh, could take up you on the one day single use whatsoever so next up the memory as you know the uh, issues the issues uh, stock rom is also made for ram hungry so this is not anything else here so the free memory is 198 mb because 
stay down because I have installed a lot lot lots of apps over this phone to test it up. So if you are a moderate user you could easily get up to 500 MB free on heavy users too. I am using this phone to too much heavy so that's a pretty cool thing also you have the uh, apps on start on boot option so you can select which app you want to start on boot app boot up so that's a pretty cool option mm, so next of all i uh, want to show you users you don't have user option on the stock rom so here you can select user on one for your and other for your friends brother mom dad who cares so that's all about it and the next thing an interesting thing is status bar so you have uh, several tweaks over status bar status bar you can change the icons of the status bar and you can select what on the status bar and what not you can um, pretty much uh, control everything as you can detect i have controlled the clock and the battery percentage logo i have controlling the uh, aims pm to small and making this uh, battery circle from to, uh, circle to text so it's that how it works you can also have the brightness control option it means if you enable it and tap on status bar going here from there your brightness will automatically turn up and down as you move your finger so that's a pretty cool thing and show notification drawer count it's not very interesting thing but good to have quick pull down option here is set from right so quick pull down means on the stock one you have to pull twice to get the full status bar but i just pull it down once to get the fully so it's a pretty good use and a pretty nice option to have so that's pretty cool about this so uh, there is pretty co cool thing and the clock style i can change from uh, right to center this looks also pretty good to on the center and if you hide ampl logo that's ridiculous the good so that's a pretty good thing about uh, this rom that you can pretty much customize the everything and here is the app accounts and other google options which is neither interesting so that's all about it and this one runs as i told you cyanogen mod 30 nightly version there is no official version available till now if available i will let you know so that's pretty cool thing about it here is the quick demonstration of the asus zenfone 2 lasers on cyanogen mod and here are my review ends hope you guys like it if you liked it please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so, so i am seeing you on the next one guys thank you for watching peace out